my friends? I'm Harry, and my subscribers know who I am. You are on the Sci-Fi Film Channel. Today is a review of the Sci-Fi post-apocalyptic series Fallout, which was released on April 11th on the Prime Video platform. Its plot is based on the role-playing video game series of the same name, and the development of this promising project was carried out by the showrunners of the HBO hit Westworld Lisa Joy and Jonathan Nolan. Now let's figure out whether they managed to create a project that will delight both fans of the game source and ordinary viewers. Pros, an exciting adventure in an authentic setting, mostly from the Bethesda era. Great attention to the smallest details of the local universe, playful black humor, appropriate musical design, including music directly from the game. Overall great entertainment that's easy to binge watch. Cons, this world will probably be a little difficult for newbies to get into. Not all character arcs are equally interesting. Some important elements of the script were clearly saved for later. On a fine October day in 2077, Western star Cooper Howard witnesses a nuclear apocalypse that will go down in history as the Great War. As a result of mutual strikes between China and the United States, most of humanity will be destroyed, and the United States will turn into a scorched Westland on the ruins of which new factions and groups will arise over time. In addition to them, this world will be flooded with all sorts of mutants, from rad roaches and bears to ghouls who were once human. Some of them have already lost their minds and have completely turned into the walking dead. There are also those who were lucky enough to find themselves in shelters, specially equipped for rescue. Two centuries after the end of the world, a well-fed, smiling resident of just such a fortification became a young girl, Lucy McLean, who plans to marry for convenience, a native of the neighboring Vault 32. But the joy of the wedding night is overshadowed by a trap set by a gang of raiders who brazenly invaded the hideout. They kidnap Lucy's father, so the heroine goes in search of him on a dangerous journey through the wasteland. There she will meet many interesting characters, among whom a special role will be played by one scientist with a faithful dog, the slightly twitchy squire of the Brotherhood of Steel Maximus and Cooper Howard, already in the guise of a tough cowboy. It's probably not worth reminding once again how iconic the Fallout game series has become and how thorny its path has been. Over its 27 years of existence, the toy managed to come under the control of another publisher, changed greatly, and acquired several generations of gamer fans for whom the Wasteland became almost their home. After the huge success of the adaptation of The Last of Us, which inspired the authors of Fallout, for the second year in a row, we have a reference transfer of the universe of the cult game into a mini-series format. And this is not to mention the fairly successful full-length blockbusters like Uncharted, This means at least two things. The first is that, in the three decades since the release of Super Mario Bros., filmmakers have finally learned to adequately transfer the game world into the cinematic plane. Secondly, the evolution of the genre of video game adaptations has given the viewer an excellent alternative to comic book films, the best of which are already behind us. Therefore, the mutual understanding of the two large entertainment industries signals the readiness of this direction to take its own good place. Considering the powerful fan base, the creators of the series had a lot of responsibility on their shoulders. But after watching it, we can already say for sure that they coped with the task almost brilliantly. The plot of the Fallout series offers an exciting adventure with the MacGuffin inherent in games. Here it is literally the gradually rotting head of Michael Emerson. The events take place in a frantic post-apocalyptic world, replete with bizarre retro-futurism and appropriate black humor. And also, the bloody massacre. How could we live without it? If the majority of fans of this universe should like the show from Amazon, as evidenced by the high ratings, then in the case of a new audience, questions will definitely arise. For untrained viewers, who primarily associate the name Fallout with another mission. Impossible installment, rather than a series of RPG games, 
local adventures may seem strange. From the very first minutes, the authors managed to surprise with the scene of the beginning of the apocalypse, when the idol of a children's birthday is disrupted by the appearance of ruthless nuclear mushrooms that literally grow within sunny Los Angeles. The story has three main storylines, Lucy, Maximus, and Ghoul, which intersect in one way or another. These arcs are not all uniformly interesting, but together they form a weird and wonderful story collage that you can't take your eyes off throughout the entire eight episodes. From an entertainment point of view, it is a hypnotic, almost perfect show, and therein lies its success. After all, for the sake of complete immersion in alternative worlds or eras, we love video games. If Lucy is completely out of touch with reality at the beginning of her journey, this is what happens if you sit in a bunker for a long time. Maximus longs with all his guts to become a knight of the Brotherhood of Steel and try on power armor. You know that this is a rough version of Tony Stark's costume, which has become one of the main symbols of the franchise. The ghoul, on the other hand, is more reminiscent of the Red Skull than a typical mutant, but that doesn't stop him from being the show's most interesting character, thanks in no small part to the talents of Walton Goggins. We can still talk about this sensational project for a long time and endlessly, meticulously looking for the next reference or some kind of non-canonical approach. This story doesn't let itself get bogged down in fan service and delivers a truly fun and engaging adventure. Conclusion Another top video game adaptation that should appeal to a lot of Fallout fans. And on this optimistic note, I want to end my story. Subscribe and comment. May the Force be with you. Bye-bye.